Hey Jackals, since I'm working on a project with custom animations, I thought that this was the best time to show you the new feature that was introduced in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Now let's get digital. So the feature in question is the background media that you can use inside the Fusion page. And what does it allow you to do? Well, let me just expand on it. So it allows you to make compositions like this one with different elements and all of those elements can be separately on the edit page. So let's make a new one. I'll just make a new fusion composition. I'll put it on the top. Now you don't need to use the fusion composition. You can just use images if you have those. Like maybe I have an image here that I've overlaid on top of here. So let me just show you how that would look like originally totally off. So you go in the fusion page and you can simply adjust the position and the scale of the image to fit where it has to be. Now I'll simply go into the fusion page. The first thing that you want to do, control space or shift space, type in media and select the media in, edit and connect it. Now with the media in node selected, you will go to the inspector if it's not opened, go to the media source and change this from timeline to background. And you'll see everything, in this case, all of the clips that were beneath this fusion composition that I've just made. So this could be images, this could be fusion compositions, or this could be videos. And now you can simply do all kinds of animations that you want. So let me just make a simple one. I'll use rectangle and a background, maybe put the rectangle here. I then use a transfer node to make a simple animation, decide when the animation should start and I'll simply move it in the X and Y direction. So a quick little animation like that. I'll then go into the spline, choose displacement, zoom to fit, press S and I want this animation to hang out a little bit or a pause. So this curve has to be like so and then it will quickly drop down so maybe something like that let's see how it looks like nice so now you can make simple animations and quickly and just change the color so we can see it and what you can also do is use tracking so i'll use a tracker in this case my example is not the best because I don't have a good tracking information, so it will most likely fail. Let me just position the tracker, change the size and also change the stretch area. Now this circle makes one whole rotation and let's just see if the tracker can follow it. It failed immediately. What I wanted to show you that is you can actually use the tracking if the video is good enough. So now if this is my animation, I would then simply disconnect the media out. If you want to make the exports as a black video, you don't have to, but if you want a transparent video, you do have to do this. So first things first, let's just make this a black video. The way you do this is, well, you'll basically disable everything beneath the video clip. You then go to the deliver page, set the format that you want. This is usually MP4 in my case and set the export out range. Now, if I go to here by just clicking, press O, but if I zoom all the way in, you can see that the last frame is actually one frame longer. I don't know why that is. So go one frame back and press O to line this up add render queue and render this out. Now this will be a totally black video. This is the one I just exported. I have no idea why the thumbnail looks like this. So we have the video. Now in this case, it's a little bit strange because this part should not be visible, especially because it's not enabled. So this is actually the video that was rendered out. So I have no idea why that happened because everything was disabled. And now to make a transparent video, 
so everything is black like it should be. Then the simplest and quickest way is to choose the format as AVI, change the codec to Grass Valley and click Expert Alpha and change the name. And this video should not be transparent. So this one, and it is not. And it also has some bugginess going on. That may be because I've used the tracking, who knows? So if you want this video to be transparent, not only do you have to disable all of the video clips beneath it, in the Fusion page, it's also best if you just disable or remove the media in. Now this media in node is searching for a background, but because we've disabled all of the clips in the timeline, it just means that the background will be black. So that is why you should simply disable it or remove it. So if I now connect it like this, the background is transparent, just make sure that the media out is the same as you want. If it's not, you can use a background node, a merge node, connect them and make sure that the background is connected to the back. And then in the background node, lower the alpha. And in the image, uncheck the auto resolution and type the resolution that you want. In this case, 1920 by 1080 is what I want. As you can see, now we see the black background, even though the video is transparent, this is not reflected in the timeline, but it will be reflected when we make this transparent export. So all of the options are the same. And now when I put it onto a timeline, now it is this one, it's going to be transparent once I enable a background. And this is how it looks on the actual composition. And that's one use case on how to use the background media in DaVinci Resolve. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital.